Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Upton, and other celebrities were targeted in the most recent nude photo leak. Pop Sugar's Lindsay Miller and Allison McNamara are here to discuss the aftermath. Unfortunately, we have seen this before. We've covered past photo hacks on PopSugar.com. And we just posted a piece on the site detailing why you really should not click on these photos. Clicking definitely makes you part of the problem. Plus, law enforcement takes this very mm -hmm. seriously. Take a look. The FBI is investigating how private photos of Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Upton, and other celebrities went viral on the internet this past Sunday. The intimate images first appeared on the website 4chan, with the hackers claiming they acquired the photos through celebrities' iCloud accounts. However, Apple defended iCloud security in a statement on Tuesday, blaming the theft on a very targeted attack on usernames, passwords, and security questions. Both Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Upton's reps confirmed the authenticity of the picture pictures, threatening to prosecute anyone sharing the images, and calling the leak an outrageous and flagrant violation of privacy. And the law is on their side. In 2012, a man who posted private photos of Scarlett Johansson and Mila Kunis after hacking their online accounts was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Other stars involved this time include Ariana Grande, Kirsten Dunst, and Victoria Justice. While Kirsten seemed to confirm the authenticity of her photos when she tweeted a sarcastic thank you iCloud, Ariana's rep and Victoria herself both say the photos of them are fakes. Emma Watson and Lena Dunham were not among the victims, but the two stars denounced the nude leaks on Twitter. Lena wrote, the don't take naked pics if you don't want them online argument is that she was wearing a short skirt of the web. All of these leaked photos of female celebrities have really opened up an honest conversation. What do you guys think? Well, it's not just a legal issue. It is an ethical issue. And I think what Lena said is spot on. This is a violation. We shouldn't be blaming these women for it. No. And as somebody on Twitter pointed out, you know, we don't blame people whose credit card information is stolen for shopping online. Right. Agree with all of that. But here's the thing. It's 2014, celebrity or not, if you're taking these photos on your smartphone, there's a chance this could happen, so you got to be prepared. No, I hear you, but I agree with Lena on this as well. It is a woman's right to choose when and if she shares her body, and that's been taken away in this right, situation. Definitely.